Let's turn to the SEC. Let's turn to the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now, I'm going to give you guys all a moment here as we hit the four minutes on the clock. The, the gift that I would give them is like what you just said. I'd give them some Xanax or, or some Dramamine too because the only thing that might be holding them back is sometimes how hard they play actually goes against them. That's the only thing. Like sometimes they actually can hurt themselves because I think they measure up with just about anybody. Mm. Um, in Maui, they would have advanced the championship game if Musk didn't get all fired up with the refs and things didn't go, go down the tube. And then along those lines, just making sure that you take high percentage shots. That's the one thing. When you look at some of their shooting, there are some numbers. I mean, uh, Devo Davis has, has actually really struggled, struggled from three this season, guys. He's, he has not shot the basketball well. He's a key guy for them. They, a real factor guy, they need to get him going. Let's see what you guys are giving the Razorbacks. We begin with Jeff. I, you I'm know, this gonna... has been the hardest one for me. I mean, obviously, the easy answer is just experience. Like, fast forward and give them experience in big games in the SEC. I, I think they played a fairly um, underwhelming non conference schedule for the most part. So, I, I just want to give them you know, reps playing against good teams in the SEC uh, because I think that's all they need. Honestly, they just need that. I was actually going to go along the same lines there with uh, Nick Smith giving him more reps because he was out for the first part of the season with an injury and getting him in on the floor and working with the, with his talented teammates, all those athletes around the perimeter, everything like they, they divvy the ball up. They spread it around. That's an unselfish bunch. Must has got them moving the basketball. If you look on Kim Palm, their only go-to guys, Jalen Graham, he's only playing 12% of the minutes. So like their ability to sp spread it out, pass the ball, uh, they're an unselfish bunch. Now Nick Smith needs to get more repetition with his guys. And I think with more repetition, his percentages are going to jump as well. I'm going to give them, I mean, ESPN likes making money. They like viewership. They need more TV games. You got Ricky Council, Nick Smith Jr., Anthony Black, to me, is probably the arguably one of the best backcourts in the country. Two future pros, must-see TV. Um, they scored 56 to 76 points against Bradley. Um, with them being so young, they play a very mature, mistake-free kind of game. Um, they combine for, what, four turnovers and shot 18 of 33 from the field last game. I mean, these guys are must-see TV. Can we, can we get them on? Can we get them on like a primetime slot? You know what I'm saying? That would, that'd be nice. You know, so maybe because it's the Arkansas and the Jersey, but I feel like if these guys had some type of blue blood across their chest, yeah, if they had Kentucky two, across times, their Jersey, we yeah, we see them two, three times a week. You know, yeah. so we need to get them more TV games, man. If they had Carolina on their chest, they'd be on TV every day. Doesn't matter how bad the team's playing, exactly. right, John? Exactly. I, I agree. I mean, these guys are people. <laughs> people don't really know them now, but I mean, these guys are. Two of the guys are probably going to go top 10 in the draft. Two top 10 guards is but scary. I'll, but I'll say this. All right, like, like you want them to be on TV. North Dakota State, Fordham, South Dakota State, Louisville stinks. They ended up playing Creighton and San Diego State in, in the event. And yeah, since they got back, Troy, San Jose State, UNC Greensboro, Oklahoma, Bradley. Like what games do you want to see them against? I, I would just say, look, man, throw them on a little Saturday 2 p.m. precursor to the to the uh, CBS Classic, man. Like just Gotta get them on people, the table. Got to play people. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, if you're if you're playing doormats, they're not going to put you on the prime yeah. slots. They're not. We're not going to see them. I mean, they got they're at LSU Wednesday, December 28th. They're home to Missouri January 4th. They're at Auburn Jan 7. And then Jan 11, folks, mark your calendars now. Mark your calendars now in Fayetteville, Alabama at Arkansas. January the 11th, which is where we go next. 